this video I'm going to show you how to make objects move randomly around the world. I'm going to make my elephants move randomly, so I'll right click on elephant and open the editor. Going to remove the comment here, press control and space to see a list of methods. Going to choose move because I want my elephants to always move no matter what. Put a semicolon at the end of the line. Now I need an if statement, so if then I'm going to open and close my normal brackets. On the next line, open my curly brackets, press enter twice, close the curly brackets. Now, inside of the if brackets, I'm going to write Greenfoot with a capital G, dot, and then control and space again to get a list of methods. I'm going to choose get random number. Inside of the brackets, I'm going to put a 10. And then outside, I'm going to put less than 1. That just makes sure that it doesn't move randomly too much or too little. Inside of the brackets now, control space again. And I want my character to turn. So double click the turn. Now I need the green foot dot get random code again. And this time, I'm going to put 90 degrees, which is a right angle. And in between the two closed brackets, take away 45. If I don't do that, if I don't add the take away 45, then my objects will always move to the right. But adding the take away 45 means that it can move slightly left and slightly right. Okay, I'm going to compile the code now and see what happens when I click run. So my elephants are moving, but you can see that when they get to the edge of a world, and the corners especially, they're just getting stuck. So I need to add another part to my code. I'm going to do this after the gray, but before the yellow in here. And another if statement, so normal brackets, new line, open the curly brackets, and then close them. And the code in here, control space, is is at edge. Double click it. There's nothing else to add in those brackets. It's just saying, if the object is at the edge, then what do you want to happen? And if it is at the edge, I want it to turn directly around. So turn 180 degrees, so it hits itself at the edge, but then it turns around. Compile, go back, click Run. You can see, bounce, bouncing now. As it hits the edge, it's bouncing away. Okay.